Hey, welcome to Run and Gun, and today is going to be episode 3, and we're going to be doing an ISO experiment. Now, ISO is a little bit interesting because it's not your camera's aperture that you can change and physically let more light into your camera and hitting your sensor, and it's not your camera shutter speed either that you can change and a physical mechanism you can change the speed of to let more or less light in. ISO deals with your sensor and it works, well, we're going to figure out kind of how it works today. Um, hopefully we can learn a little bit more about ISO and how that makes your image more or less noisy. So I'm going to have my Canon 5D Mark II and Nikon D3 and we're not comparing the two, I'm comparing Canon's ISO to Canon's ISO and Nikon's ISO to Nikon. So. Let's do a little experimenting and see what we can learn about ISO and noise and grain and image quality. All right, so to try and learn a little bit more about ISO, I'm going to be shooting on my Canon 5D Mark II with a 50 millimeter lens. And I'm also going to be shooting on my Nikon D3 with a 50 millimeter lens as, as well. So the results will be pretty close. But again, we're not comparing the D3 to the 5D Mark II. We're comparing the D3 to its own ISO and the 5D to its own ISO. All right, so starting with the D3, we're going to shoot at a shutter speed of 100, an aperture of 2.8 and an ISO of 1600, and that's going to give us a properly exposed image of this bookshelf here. And that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the ISO down to 200, and that will essentially underexpose the image because it was properly exposed at ISO 1600. We're leaving the shutter speed and aperture the same, but we're turning down the ISO, so we're going to see in Lightroom if turning up the exposure from an ISO 200 image will make the image more or less grainy than the 1600 ISO image. All right, so now we have our Canon 5D Mark II, also using a 50 millimeter lens, actually a Nikon lens as well with an adapter. Again, we're gonna shoot ISO 100. F-stop is gonna be at 2.8. And again, we're gonna start with 1600 ISO. All right, that's properly exposed image. And now we're gonna turn the ISO down to 200 just like we did with the D3 and see if lifting those shadows and lifting the exposure in Lightroom is going to be a less or a more noisy image than if it were shot at 1600 ISO. Okay so we just finished photographing this bookshelf and we shot it with the Nikon D3 and a Canon 5D Mark II. So we're going to take a look at these files in Lightroom and learn a little bit about noise I hope. So here is the first image, ISO 1600, 50 millimeter, f2.8, and shot at one one hundredth of a second. And this is pretty well exposed. So now we're going to look at our other image, shot at ISO 200. So let's go look at that. Here we go, a little bit underexposed. Now I did the math already, and I'm going to bring this up, the exposure up to about 3.2. 3.2 and that's going to give us a very similar image as you can see to ISO 1600. So now the ISO 200 and ISO 1600 images match. Now let's actually zoom in on these. Here's the 1600. We can see a little bit of the noise in there that you're naturally going to get from ISO 1600. Now let's look at ISO 200 brought up. There we go. It's kind of what I thought. We're seeing a little bit more noise. And just so you know, I completely turned off all of the noise reduction in Lightroom, and I turned up the sharpening on both images equally, just a little bit, so that you can see in this video some of the noise just a little bit better. So here we go. 1600 ISO. 200 ISO, bringing the 200 ISO up to the same exposure, 
And let's look at some of these around the hobbits, some of these darker areas. All this extra noise you're seeing over the 1600. Look at that. 1600? 200. Look at that. So what that's telling me and what I'm kind of understanding is that means your sensor isn't just bringing up your gain or exposure. It means they're actually sending a stronger signal and your sensor is more sensitive to light at 1600 ISO. It's not just digitally bringing up your exposure, which is why we're seeing more noise if we're digitally bringing up our exposure in Lightroom. So that's what we learned from the D3. Let's look at the 5D Mark II. Here we go. Here is, I did the exact same thing. I sharpened it a little bit so you guys could see, and I turned off all noise reduction for both images. Now here's the 1600 ISO, and here's the 200 ISO, a little bit underexposed, so we're going to bring that up to match. There we go. Look at that. Exposures are about the same now in Lightroom. If you guys can see that, I hope you can. Look at all this noise when we're looking at the Hobbit right here and in these shadows, even in some of the titles that are a little bit darker versus 1600 ISO. 200 ISO, 1600 ISO. It's quite a big difference that bringing up the exposure digitally is changing. We're seeing that your ISO is actually changing your sensor to be more sensitive to light. It's less sensitive here in ISO 200, and when we bring it up digitally, we're getting a lot more noise. Let's look at some of these out of focus parts as well. This little plant right here out of focus, and I'll look at the same image, ISO 1600. Look at that, there's a little bit of noise up in here, a little bit of black and white noise, not that much color noise. 1600 ISO and 200 ISO. Look at all that color noise. Oh, look at it right here. That's that's a lot. You know, bring back the 1600 ISO. Not that much. That's a usable image. 200 ISO brought up. That's that's almost unusable. A lot of noise reduction. So, when you're in a situation when you're shooting something that's dark and you're getting an underexposed image, turn your ISO up a little bit because you're going to get less noise with your ISO up versus shooting at a lower ISO and trying to bring it up in Photoshop or Lightroom, you're going to be bringing a lot more noise into that image because your sensor is actually more sensitive to light. So I definitely learned something today. I hope that you guys learned something too, that your ISO is actually sensitive to light and it's not just a digital thing going on in your camera. It's actually the little photo sites in your sensor being more sensitive to the light and the photons that are coming into your camera lens and hitting your sensor. So thank you guys for joining me on this little bit of an experiment. And I hope we maybe busted some myths or helped you learn something today. If you like this video, subscribe to Run and Gun. And I'll see you guys next week. Get out and go shoot.